Like. We've just been to the cutest little chocolate shop, haven't we, Mister? <laughs> yeah. And did you get a treat? Yeah. What shape did you get? What's the camera? Soldier. You got a soldier. And what did you get, Oz? A dinosaur. It's really, really cute. I'll show you the outside of the shop in a second. We're just walking away, but we'll walk back up the hill and I'll show you. This is the little yeah. chocolate shop that we bought those bits from, which I'll show you in a minute. And we've come to a little tea rooms opposite. How cute is this place? <laughs> these are what we picked up. I'd have thought so. Um, yeah, these are what we picked up in the chocolate company. So Emmy chose a little bunny. Ollie chose this dinosaur. Harry chose a little soldier. And um, Gavin and I chose what picked these blocks. I think it all came to about seven pounds. It wasn't great expensive, but we're looking forward to a little treat later. Oh my kiddos. Mm. So how are we rating the chocolate? Good. Yeah. Yeah. Yummy yeah. yummy? Yeah. Yeah. I love it, but it's very thick to bite through. How do you rate it, Gav? It's good. We have come back pretty much. One's left. It is miserable. It's not like heavy rain, but it's just that kind of fine, annoying rain right now. In you go, kids. This is the the rough side of camping. We are almost packed away. The Coleman tent is absolutely huge and we've also got the roof box and this is kind of <laughs> our setup and then the kids but well they're actually surprisingly empty this time As you arrive, everyone is given one of these cards that obviously states how long they're here for. And then you go to the little check-in desk. Oh, and each day you can pick up your straps to enter into the farm and they have a different color for every day. So obviously you know which day it links to. Harry went for a banana milkshake and 
Ollie had a strawberry and then Gav and I have got paninis coming on the way. And then I did crisp for 150 and bottles of Coke were something like 250, I think. This was the West Country panini at pulled pork and Gav went for chicken and bacon. I think mine was 650 and Gav's was seven or eight pounds, I think. Um, so it's certainly not cheap, but it's what you expect in a theme park attraction. They have so much indoor seating. Um, it's actually really nice and warm in here too, so no matter what the weather is, it can all be covered. We actually came in here because there was a wasp just fucking the at me. <laughs> They're hungry, Emmy. Fed. What did you just feed? You fed the goat with your hand, didn't you? Superstar. Where'd you get food from? Someone's obviously just dropped like a whole bag of it on the floor, so we were doing it while we were waiting. And we do more than one, do like a handful. Emmy, do you want to walk to some more animals? And feed them from your hand. Do a bit more. The white one. Good boy. Are you ready to I'm recording you. Oh, aren't they lovely? Yeah. Mummy almost looks like she's got a Mickey Mouse on her back. Can you see? See the black. Yeah. Lots of food, not just little bits. Not just one piece, Harrison. Oh, here he comes. Boys, you've got to get rid of it all, yeah?
Well done, Bolly. Got MZ. Pour it out, Ems. They're very happy. We are on the way home. We have stopped off at a welcome break. What are we having for food? KFC. And KFC. I love KFC. It's your favourite, isn't it? Mm -hmm. And then that is the end of our summer. Because who goes back to school on Monday? And what year are you going into? Two. Two seven-year-olds. Yeah, left a six-year-old. Going back seven. I love KFC. I hope you just didn't just pick your nose then. I didn't. No, this one. This one's nose. Bye. Oh, is everyone coming as well? Cheese. Cheese. The bossy baby.